Now to Bridgeport, where a 35-year-old man is facing a slew of charges, including operating under the influence after police say he hit several cars and a pedestrian. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Fabrizi is at the scene on Orchard Street right now on the Upper East Side with the details. Lauren, what can you tell us? Annalisa, a much calmer scene here now. As you can see, police have wrapped up their on-scene investigation, and most of the cars that have been hit have since been towed away, except take a look. This, except for this one here, and as for the pedestrian who was hit, police say that she was rushed to the hospital. Now take a look. This is the man who police have arrested in connection with all of this. 35-year-old Wilfido Godinez Lopez of New Rochelle is charged with operating under the influence, operating without a license, and five counts of evading responsibility. Now this all unfolded around 9 o'clock last night. Police say they got a call that there had been a crash on Boston Avenue near the Burger King involving a vehicle with New York plates. Police believe Godinez Lopez had hit a car there and took off and police say that he continued driving on Boston Avenue and then eventually turned onto Orchard Street here, striking several parked cars and a female pedestrian and it is unknown the extent of that woman's injuries. You can see the extensive damage to the cars that were hit. Police say Godinez Lopez eventually came to a stop on Orchard Street near Ogden Street and that is where he was taken into custody. You can see him there. No word yet why Godinez Lopez had traveled to Bridgeport from New York prior to the incident. Now we spoke with a woman who lives here on Orchard Street. She says that her car ended up with a few scratches as a result of this incident and she also tells us that she witnessed some of the chaos yesterday. I heard a big bam like a big like an accident. Yeah, and he left like his tire here. He left his axle here. And Godinez Lopez's bond has been set at $30,000, but this is still an active investigation, and I am told that more charges are likely, so we will, of course, continue to follow the story and keep you updated. For now, that is the latest here in Bridgeport. Warren Fabrizi, News 12, Connecticut.